Hey everybody, Sean Fury here. Hope you're doing well this week. Out there changing the world one uh, day at a time, one action at a time, one heroic intervention at a time. Doing whatever it is that you do. Uh, being an agent of positive change. Facilitating uh, life success for others or for yourself. Just want to give you a quick uh, uh, you know, talk about uh, the importance of positive feedback. Praise statements and uh, positive attention. I recently ran into some people who I started to notice um, through hanging out with them that they have the impression that the only kind of person who needs to hear uh, praise statements or to receive positive attention are people who are weak. And I wanted to just, you know, I thought that'd be a good little video topic for a minute, um, and put out there that if you want to create and protect the kind of situational conditions in which human beings can be well and do well in life, um, in the in sense of meeting their basic human mental health needs and also adva advancing progress toward their personal goals so they can succeed in their own way as an individual and also as a human being too. If you want to facilitate those kind of situational conditions, then uh, there's no room for laziness or apathy right, or indifference or envy or any of those type of things that can prevent us from wanting to um, encourage one another. And uh, I noticed this working with clients in my career field as a behavioral health technician, as a behavior coach, a behavior analyst. What I found is that there's a great deal of anxiety that people go through, whether they show it or not, um, in terms of, in regards to whether or not they are good enough, or they're accepted, or whether you like them. And what I've found is that, you know, probably you found the same thing in your work, um, if you've ever looked into it, people respond very well to praise statements, um, positive attention, positive touch, and just reminding them that they're good enough, they're doing fine, everything's okay. Uh, no need to act out or, you know, put up a wall or disengage from others socially when the going gets tough. It's okay to be, hum be human, to have a, a tough day, to have feelings, uh, upset feelings, you know. And um, there's always tomorrow, another chance to turn it all around. So I was just going to encourage you, if you go out there, to uh, give people those positive statements. Um praise and empathy statements. I know you're uh, just trying to have fun, but it's, you know, if you do this action, it's probably not going to be good for you. That's kind of, you know, empathizing with them. I know how it feels to lose a loved one. Um, you know, my dog died too in the past. I can understand it's not, you know, easy to go through. And when they're maybe having a bad day, they're in a, uh, not a great mood, you know, joke around with them and give them that, that uh, levity, you know, that sense of humor. Smile. I found that uh, nothing beats a smile and being fully present with others, uh, no matter what kind of crimes they've committed or what kind of mental health issues they have or emotional and behavioral problems that they're dealing with. If you can approach them with a genuine interest in building them up emotionally, uh, then you're going to see a lot of positive uh, changes just from that uh, full authentic and uh, dignifying engagement with others. All right, thanks a lot and have a great day.